My name is Brad Lewis. Um, I'm the journalism teacher here at SDA, and I teach beginning journalism, digital photography, yearbook, and newspaper. I'm originally from the Kansas City area. Grew up here most of my life. Um, did live in Denver for eight years, so I've actually attended three different high schools. Then went to Johnson County Community College for two years. I was on the student newspaper, the Campus Ledger there, as a news writer and managing editor. Then I transferred to Emporia State and was at Emporia State for a couple years where I worked on the student newspaper there and was the sports editor for quite a long time and then was also editor-in-chief for one summer. So um, I also went to Avila University to get my teaching certification in the state of Missouri and then did my student teaching at Blue Valley West. Um, I'm dual certified in journalism and social studies, so my student teaching was actually in social studies. Um, then I taught at Harrisonville High School for seven years where I taught journalism, um, same classes I teach here at SDA, and then came to SDA two and a half years ago. For me, um, my senior year of high school, my second semester, I took an intro to journalism course at Blue Valley Northwest, and my teacher, who's a, a man named Jim McCrossin, who is still there, and um, he really kind of introduced, I've, I've always been... Um, I guess a good writer and writing was always something that was fun for me. So introducing me to a new way of writing um, was something that I really kind of fell in love with. And when I was at um, Johnson County Community College and started taking more in-depth news writing classes, there was something about being the first one to know when something was happening that was really kind of super exciting. I remember one time in particular, um, a vending machine caught fire on like the other side of campus and the managing editor at the time and myself were the only two in the uh, in the office and someone called down there to tell him and so he grabs his reporter's pad and he yells at me he's like grab a camera let's go and we're like running down the hall and we get there just in time for the firemen to put the flames out so we got really good, great photos and then I remember standing there interviewing the firefighters and the fire chief as they were kind of working the scene which was really just kind of exciting for me, and then looking back at my experiences with um, Mr. McCross and Blue Eye Northwest, it just kind of seemed a really kind of perfect marriage to take journalism and education and combine them together. For me, um, my relationship with students is very much like a mentor. Um, I want to try to empower my students to learn on their own and discover things on their own and to put them in positions where their natural leadership abilities are able to come out and allow them to kind of discover those for themselves. I really kind of feel that if you give students the power to kind of choose their own assignments and, and really, I guess, discover their own talents and go above and beyond, um, that's more powerful than any, you know, kind of lecture or worksheet or anything else that you would see in a traditional classroom. Whenever I read a book or go to a seminar about this is how we need to change classrooms in America, I always kind of smile or laugh internally because they start to describe things like we need to give students the power to discover their own talents and we need to get them into collaborative groups and we need to give them more, <clears throat> you know, real life projects that they can own and take on and I'm always kind of not literally but figuratively, figuratively in the back of the room smiling because every time they describe that they're describing a journalism classroom to a T. I see journalism in the in the classes that I teach very much like a 21st century um, model because the skills that students learn through my classes they can take with them and no matter what they decide to do. If they don't get in journalism, if they become a lawyer, a doctor, um, a teacher, a um, you know mathematician, anything, they're going to be able to take some skill set they learned in journalism and apply that to that. If, if there's one thing that I want students to learn is that if they hear something, if they learn something, I want them to be able to question it and go and confirm it and find out if it's true. Um, really just having the skills and the ability to continue to grow and continue to learn and continue to educate themselves on like all all topics no matter what if you could be anything at all what would you be that's a, that's a good question um when i was well i still kind of do but i'm really rusty but when i was younger um i was a drummer in a band in high school and i think if i had the ability to be a drummer and a musician and kind of travel the world in that way and 
just kind of perform uh, for people, that would probably be, I'd say, my dream job. So 